running late. So we're going to get this review out. Us. Now, when Get Out came out, they said that Jordan Peele was the next big horror director. Then this came out. And there were a lot of split. There was a split among the fans on this one. Some people said it's the greatest horror movie ever. Some people said, eh, it's okay. You know, for me, I've watched The Kill Count from Dead Meat, so I know what happens in this movie. And you know what? Even knowing the twist going in, it's kind of obvious from the first scene. So what's the story? The story is a um, a family goes on a vacation to a place where the mom, as a child, had an incident where she saw another version of herself. Um, and now, years later, the not only her... Uh, doppelganger, but other people's doppelgangers are now rising up to take over the surface world. First off, we gotta talk about the score and the cinematography because they're awesome. The cinematography is great. The score, that score, it sets the mood right away. With the creepiness of it and just how it that you like surrounds you and it it makes you feel the movie, if you get what I mean. Like, once that music starts playing, you know that this movie isn't going to end well. This It's not going to, you know, it's not going to be a happy story. So like I said, it's about a uh, character played by Lupita Nyong'o, who, as a little girl, had, a, had an incident where she found a, another version of herself. And... Uh, you know, grabbed a hold of her, choked her, and now years later, her family's going on vacation to the same place. And, like I said, other versions are of other people are coming up, and they're killing uh, the, you know, the original people. Apparently, there's some government, um, some kind of uh, experiment that created what's called the tethered. Different, like, dark versions of ourselves and uh now thanks to the other version of our main character they are rising up and trying to get revenge on the human world and it starts with this guy who's you know one of those church going guys kind of like you know one of those he you know he's holding up a sign that's basically like the end of the world or whatever and he's he's uh He's killed, and then later on the beach, we see that same guy standing there, so that it started. The, the kills in this are graphic. Just graphic kills. I'm not going to spend too much on this, like I said, I'm running late today. So, they, they, but they are graphic. They are pretty good. Um, decent kills. Performances from Lupita Nyong'o and Winston Duke are great overall. And they gotta portray not one but two different versions of themselves. Like the whole family has different, you know. And Elizabeth Moss, the way she plays her doppelganger character, her original character not so much, but the doppelganger definitely creepy. Uh, like I said, the score adds to that creep factor, and is is actually a pretty good film. Um, now the twist. I knew it going in, but as I'm watching it, and I see how it began. It began with, you know, the little girl, she's walking, she goes down, and she gets grabbed by the other version of her in the throat. And then, the, uh, it's, it's a while before they find her again. When they find her, she sort of, she doesn't, you know, she's sort of non-complacent, and, uh, they take her home, you know. You see flashbacks to what happened. And right there, I'm like, okay. It took a while for them to find her. And she was just walking around. Something was not right. Then they introduced us to the doppelgangers. And the doppelganger, her, her, talks like this. Almost as if somebody hurt her throat. And now she has a strange voice. 
And I'm like, okay, I get how some people might be shocked by the twist, but if I didn't know the twist going in, I probably could have figured it out by those two things. She was missing for for a while, and then now this other version talks like this because there's something wrong with her throat. And they reveal it as this other version is telling the story what happened, and it's revealed that, yeah, there was a switch. And it's actually the original version that led this uh, uprising of the Tethered to take on the rest of the world. And it's, it's got, this movie's pretty good. You know, it's it's not a bad movie at all. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of on a time limit here. But, uh, yeah, just Jordan Peele has another hit on his hands. It's pretty good. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. For me. So what are your thoughts on us? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'm on, I'm on my quest to finish up my movies of the year. I got Crawl, and I got another Cinema Snob movie left to watch. I'm going to watch this tonight after I get done with my, you know, stuff I got going on tonight. But then those are the last ones I need to watch. I'm not going to do Jumanji. Well, maybe. It depends on what my Friday night is. If... If I end up being busy on Friday, tomorrow night, I'm not going to worry about it. But, so I only have two to watch. This and Crawl. And Crawl could be sometime on Sunday. I finish it up and I can put together my list of my... I'm not going to do like a top ten of the year, but I am, I'm just going to rank all the movies I saw that came out this year. <laughs> I, almost got, I might even grab it when I go to Walmart again tomorrow, but there's a movie that came out called Trick. And I put it back, but I might grab it. And if that's the case, I might have to watch that one too because it came out this year. But but yeah, definitely worth buying, guys. Pretty good. So what are your thoughts on us? Like I said, I said it already, but like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you.